Our region's really found itself in a national fishbowl when it comes to the future of health care, with two of the biggest integrated delivery systems facing off as providers of both insurance and health care in our region. So where's all this heading for both employers and the employees who rely on the company for their health insurance? We're back with David Holmberg, uh, the president and CEO of, of Highmark Health. Welcome again. Thank you. Yeah. Glad to be here. Picking up where we left off, you touched on it before, the real on-the-ground changes in this growing, uh, I guess, uh, trend toward outpatient care and whatever. We're seeing that right here in the region with this new right. facility you all have opened up in Wexford, right? Yep. What the Wexford Health and Wellness Pavilion for the Allegheny Health Network is a game changer, and that's why it's getting so much national attention. You know, it's really changing how healthcare is delivered. You know, it's um, in the North Hills in uh, the community. Uh, it's a much friendlier you know, setting. You know, it feels much more like a, a nice health club or um, a, almost a mall setting of a nicer mall. And it provides all the capability that you would need um, you know, for your, your health care, but it's more affordable, it's more consumer driven. Uh, the Women's Center there was designed by women you know, to fit the needs that they have. Uh, the Oncology Center was, you know, was designed uh, with uh, the, the input of patients who have gone through cancer treatments and what worked for them and what didn't work. And so it's a whole different uh, approach. And we think it's the beginning of of a, the national trend, you know, that uh, you'll see more and more health care delivered in the communities. You'll see it delivered in outpatient settings. Uh, and that's already happening today, but it's going to accelerate as time goes on. So where does that leave hospitals then? I mean, you own them now. Do, oh, do, isn't there an in, a natural incentive to feed patients up through the hospital system, the community hospitals or Allegheny General or whatever else? And where does that leave them in all of this? Well, you know what? If you own a lot of hospitals and you're not, um, you know, you're not financially responsible for paying the bills, you want to keep feeding those hospitals. We believe Highmark Health, through the Allegheny Health Network and Highmark the Insurance Company, has the right mix of hospitals. You know, I mean, uh, we believe that there's an important uh, role that they play. You know, we need to have best of class capability, and we believe we have that, and we'll continue to invest in that. But at the same time, we're building the the system of the future. We're you know we're designing a um, an approach you know f to take care of, of people's needs for the future, not the past. And so what I mean by that is it's less about the bricks and mortar and about how do we keep people healthy, how do we keep them out of the hospital. Highmark in the insurance company is very committed to that, and the Allegheny Health Network you know is one of the resources that you know we're able to use to to facilitate that. The Wexford Mall Health and Wellness Pavilion. Uh, is you know it has things like a uh, a teaching kitchen in it, so people who are um, have recently found out that they're diabetics can go there and they can work with uh, in partnership with Giant Eagle uh, and others to learn how to cook again and cook differently, so that it can take care of their their long-term health care needs. Our goal isn't to to you know, have people in the hospitals; it's in fact just the opposite. And then when somebody does need care, we want to deliver it in the communities wherever we can. We want to deliver it in you know with uh, um, you know, in a way that's much more consumer friendly because it's more affordable and it's a better experience for you know, the individual and their family. Only a tiny little bit of time left, just about 30 seconds, but I do have to ask you, the, the other community hospitals, how do they play in this space? My guess is they have to be a little skeptical that you're going to be as eager to send patients their way as to your own hospital. You know, I, I mean, uh, they're, they're, going, you know, they're <coughs> going to have to judge us not by our words but our actions. And we've extended, and particularly since May, we've extended our hand to uh, everyone who wants to work with us. Uh, we truly believe that consumers should have choice in the, the kind of care they receive, the place they receive it, and the affordability of it. And we think that our approach of, um, you know, of putting more care in the communities and you know, then using the centers of excellence to be best of class uh, will be the right solution for people in the long term so that they can have access to care and that it's affordable. All right. Well, we shall see how it all shakes out. David Holmberg from Highmark, thank you so much. Thank Great you very much you. as Thanks. well. Yeah. I appreciate it. When we return, the big ROI for all of us by investing in early childhood education. Stay with us.